everybody. This is Jalapenos and Yan Cat here, and today I'm going to tell you how to make three patterns on your old Rubik's cube that you may have. But before we start, I need to assume two things. First, you'll have your Rubik's cube solved like I do, all six sides solved. And the second thing I need to know is that you have to have. What is called algorithms in your mind. With this being said, we can start the tutorial. The first pattern I'll be showing you is called the checkerboard pattern. It looks something like this. See, there's a checkerboard on every side. Now, I'll get it back into the soft position and I'll show you how to do it. So this is how to do the checkerboard pattern. All you have to do is do this algorithm: R two, L two, U two, D two, and finally F two and B two. It's a very simple pattern to do, and it's really cool looking. To get it back into the solved position, you just do that algorithm again. So. R two, L two, U two, D two, F two, and B two. The next pattern I'll be showing you is called the center switching pattern. It looks something like this. Notice how I have switched all the centers of the cube. Now, this is how you do it. So. What you do is you take this middle layer and you spin it over. Then you take this middle layer and you spin it down. Then you take this middle layer and you spin it back. And then you take this middle layer and you spin it up. There you go. You have switched the centers of your cube. Now to get it back into the solved position, you have to find a case where This center needs to be here. So in this case, it's the green center. Now what you do is you sw you swipe it over. So now there's now this part is good. And then wait, yeah, you swipe it over, and then you find the center that goes here. So you look at the top or the bottom, and oh, the orange is here. So you turn it there, and then you turn this middle layer back, and you turn this middle layer down, and that is how to get your cube back into the solved position. It is medium-ish. It can get a bit confusing to do this pattern, but. If you understand it and you know how to do it, then you'll be fine. The third and the most hardest pattern—I know "hardest" isn't a word—but this this is the most hard pattern I'm going to be teaching you today. It's called the cross pattern. This is what the cross pattern looks like. Notice how it resembles a cross on these sides, but unfortunately, in the top and bottom, they are just regular. So, to do this pattern, I will first get it back into the soft position, and then I will teach you how to do it. Okay, so you can start on any face or side, but I prefer white side up. And what you do is you spin. The top layer twice, and then you spin this middle layer down twice, and then you do that again, and then you notice that you have a, an H pattern. It looks like an H. So when you have the H, you can now just spin the top layer and bottom layer twice. Now you notice that there's a cross here, a cross here, and stripes, stripes. And on the top and bottom, they are still the same. So now you flip 
to one of the striped sides and you do that algorithm again twice and there you go you have your cross pattern now to get it back into the solid position you just have to do that algorithm again so and you can start on any side except for this side or this side so with the white side up we will now start it so flip turn and flip it down and then turn this twice and turn this twice then you go to one of these sides turn it twice then you turn it down turn it twice turn it down and there you go that is how to get your cube back into the salt position I hope you like these patterns because you can variate them on other cubes such as the 4x4 or the 5x5. Five five. Well, I hope you liked the video and please subscribe to my channel.